Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My dear brothers and sisters Inshallah we will uh, run our um, program Jum'ah reminder today But before we uh, start Inshallah we will wait for the brothers and sisters uh, Before we start today Inshallah And then It's a reminder Since there's no Jum'ah in the malls So hope this program will bring benefit uh, toward the Muslim, especially in Hull and then uh, generally in, around the UK, hopefully around the world. And as a reminder, probably uh, the reminder could be the knowledge, the knowledge that all of uh, Muslims, it's like a common knowledge that all of us already known, but inshallah is a reminder. The purpose of the reminder is to encourage our motivation to encourage our, you know, um, uh, spirit to to have a great um, motivation to perform our amal, uh, to increase our faith, our iman, inshallah. <coughs> and inshallah, we will wait. So we will start in a few minutes. While we wait, another brothers and sisters, uh, they are connected to our channel Hulmos and Islamic Center inshallah and this reminder inshallah will not take a long time as a Jum'a uh, will not uh, uh, it should be an effective uh, reminder for all of us inshallah And then even probably the brothers and sisters, they, um, you know, uh, haven't get a chance to, you know, um, to join us, inshallah. You could be always to watch this Juma reminder later on, inshallah, because it will be um, recorded in the, in the Facebook, on the Facebook. So you will be able to watch it later on, inshallah. Probably you are not busy with the kids, with the family and things, inshallah, it will be fine. Shalom, we will start now. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udhu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina. Man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiya lahu. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله لا نبي بعده اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين فقال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters Hope everything is fine with you and your family May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Protect you and your family from any bad things Any harms in the life, in the world and the hereafter Allahumma amin All the praise and thanks be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has who has bestowed us with a massive blessing and ni'mah subhanallah until this time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still uh, bless us with uh, the ni'mah we still have food alhamdulillah we still be able to uh, to gather with with the family alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will still uh, still give us a chance to perform our ibadah subhanallah even though from from our house subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want us to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to Him. So this is, a, if we are now take the lesson from this kind of situation to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, these are blessings. And then we should be able to take this kind of opportunity to increase our amal, to increase our faith, to increase our ibadah toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the implementation of the tawheed and sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and then, I bear witness that there is no true God worthy of worship 
except Allah alone without any partners or association. A bear witness that Prophet Muhammad sallam, is his servant and his messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be on Prophet Muhammad sallam, his progeny, his family, his companions, and all those who follow and obey him until the day of resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, fear Allah and obey him. Inshallah, in today's Jum'ah reminder, it's still about the encouragement for all of us to, to take, to consider this kind of challenging situation to, for all of us to perform our massive istighfar and repentance toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Since it could probably, this kind of situation is a test. It could be because of our sins as well. So, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us make a sins. All of us make mistake. None of us that free from any bad, from any bad deeds, from any sins, from any mistake. So that's why our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu mentioned that كل بني آدم خطاء وخر الخطائين التواب. All of sons of Adam are sinners, and the best sinners are who make repentance, who are always making repentance. And my dear brothers and sisters, so that's why in this kind of situation, making a massive istighfar and repentance is the best thing to do, along with other dhikr and remembrance and dua toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we all know that the virtues of making istighfar and a massive istighfar and repentance is to encourage, to invite the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we make mistake and then we ask Allah for forgiveness and make repentance, we uh, commit to ourselves, we make a commitment not to repeat that mistake again. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then be pleased to all of us with this kind of uh, istighfar and repentance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will release this kind of situation and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send mercy toward all of us. And my dear brothers and sisters, uh, if we still remember the story of the Prophet Yunus alayhi salam when he was in the belly of a well, the remembrance that he performed at that time is the words of repentance toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clarify that he, he made mistake, he was uh, wrong, subhanAllah. And then the very first word that he performed is the word of Tawheed. La ilaha illa anta. Subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimin. There is no God but Allah. There is no true God worthy of worship but Allah alone. And Allah is the most glorified. The glorified He be. Inni kuntu min al Indeed, I am among the person who do zalim. We are zalim, my dear brothers and sisters. Intentionally or not. Knowing it or not. Uh, we realize it or not, subhanAllah, we always make mistake in our life. So that's why a part of the dhikr morning and evening that we need to, to perform every single day is a massive istighfar and repentance toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hopefully with this kind of you know, seriousness and sincere istighfar and repentance, inshallah, we should be optimistic that it will uh, encourage, it will invite the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then the mercy that we are waiting for now is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us a chance for us to perform our Ramadan, our Psalm, our Taraweh in the mosque, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give this kind of opportunity at, for all of us in this year, inshallah. So that's why regarding the Ramadan, uh, we need to prepare ourselves uh, facing the Ramadan. The best preparation for the Ramadan is the knowledge about Ramadan, the knowledge about fasting, the knowledge about ibadah. So with this kind of uh, preparation, then we have a great motivation to perform any kind of ibadah. Because Ramadan is special time for all of us, for all Muslims around the world. This is a great time because there will be a great reward. This Ramadan is a huge mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't know whether we'll be able to perform our Ramadan in the mosque, inshallah. We don't know. But if not, we'll still be able to perform our Ramadan in our house, 
is no matter the place, but the thing is everything is khair that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, bless us. The thing is, if not, then what's the point? If, if, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still uh, continue this kind of challenging situation, so do we uh, not, do not, uh, don't we want to perform the Ramadan uh, in a better way uh, compared to last Ramadan? Of course, we need to perform uh, the best Ramadan, a better Ramadan compared to last year, even though we do it at home or we have a chance to go to the mosque, inshallah, we'll do our iftar, do uh, tarawih, inshallah, we don't know. But the thing is, we need to have a seriousness, a great motivation to return to Allah, to, to show Allah that we are serious, we are sincere in our repentance and istighfar. And then uh, the proof that we are serious in our uh, istighfar and repentance is our seriousness, our commitment to be a better person, to be a better Muslim, to increase our ibadah, to increase our faith, our iman, to increase our knowledge about tawhid and sunnah and so on. My dear brothers and sisters, um, grab your book about the Ramadan. Inshallah, um, um, we will share the you know um, um, an article or you know um, a summary of the virtues of Ramadan and fasting. Inshallah, um, and it will be uh, the a short article for all of us to read to remind all of us about the virtues of uh, Ramadan and fasting and the ibadah in, in Ramadan inshallah and then the other reminder for the brothers and sisters and probably majority for the sisters if you have uh, still have responsibility to fulfill the psalm the fasting that you need to fulfill you need to fulfill it because last year you you have a fasting that you d didn't do it you didn't do it in one day two days three days for example you still have a chance to uh, to fulfill your responsibility to to do fasting inshallah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give ability tawfiq and hidayah for all of us to be prepared with the ramadan the welcoming Ramadan, inshallah. And my dear brothers and sisters, at this occasion as well, I would like to read the um, the ten directive uh, or nasiha uh, for protection to against the the disease or plaque. Uh, these ten nasiha is basically from the speech of the Sheikh Professor uh, Abdul Razak uh, Al Badr. And then the first thing is to make dua uh, before the disease come to us. So we need to make a massive dua in a part of uh, uh, our dhikr morning and afternoon. The dua is Bismillah al Ladi la yadurlu ma asmihi shayun fil adli wala fil sama. Inshallah, if we mention this, hopefully all of you have the, um, uh, you know, have already known about this dua. It's a part of the dhikr morning and afternoon. Uh, and then uh, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, I shared um, this uh, nasiha as well in, in the group. So if you would like um, to get this, uh, you know, poster as well, just... Uh, send us a message and then we will send it to you so you will be able to perform this dua as well and then if we perform this dua inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased will be pleased to protect us from any harm and badness and then make a massive uh, remembrance la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al as I mentioned in the beginning and then also um, we need to ask Allah for protection from any musibah and then make the dua in our dua so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always protect us from any bad and harm. And then the next is always make the dua, perform the dua, the supplication when we go out from our house. And then this is a very simple dua, but we, the things is the faith, the, the, the you know, the sense of yaqeen that believe, trust, put trust, rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The dua is Bismillah tawakkaltu ala Allah la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Subhanallah. If we mention this dua, subhanallah, will be uh, sufficient. Uh, 
Allah is sufficient for us, will be, uh, you know, um, will be fulfilled, will be guided, will be protected. And among the shaitan, they, uh, they talk among them. How could you uh, mislead this person? Because he is protected, because he is guided, because he is blessed, subhanAllah. My dear brothers and sisters, if we know the virtues of this dua, and then the virtues of something from the ibadah, from an amal, inshallah, we have a great motivation to perform it. My dear brothers and sisters, rahimani wa rahimakumullah, and then to as Allah with the dua of the salvation in the morning and in the evening as well. Make uh, hope all of us uh, practice this sunnah. That make a dhikr, adhkar in the morning and in the evening. This is a part of the teaching of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and then make a massive dua as well. Make a dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Muslims around the world, protect our family, protect all of us. And then to be far away to avoid the places that containing the, the disease. So that's why we are now at home, to protect ourselves, to avoid the places outside there. Probably the virus, uh, we don't know uh, where. So stay at home is the best thing to practice this, to be... Uh, to uh, to avoid the places that containing the, the the disease, and then the next number eight is always make uh, good deeds. Subhanallah, my dear brothers and sisters, in, the, in this uh, challenging situation, some Muslim they do not respect, they do not take a lesson from from this kind of situation. They just waste the time. Subhanallah, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to encourage the, to invite the mercy of Allah with our seriousness, with our commitment to make istighfar, to make repentance, to increase our amal, to increase our ibadah, to increase our faith, to increase our knowledge. Take this time as a lesson, take this time as an opportunity to increase ourselves, to be a better Muslim, to be a better person among the righteous person, Allahumma amin. So it will be very sad if uh, some of Muslim they just waste the time, they play card for example, uh, subhanallah, this is not good. They just play game, subhanallah. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the right time for us to return toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to show that we are serious, we have a great motivation to be a better Muslim in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then last but not least is to perform the night prayer if we have the ability subhanallah if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose us select us to be able to do this kind of ibadah the night prayer this is a great blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq hidayah to be able to perform this subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, come down to the uh, to the skies of the world at this during this time so subhanallah to see which one of uh, the servant among the seven they make ibadah toward allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make dua and then at this time if we make dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant it subhanallah this is a great time for all of us to perform our ibadah at the night time and then the last thing is um to cover the kitchen utensils, you know, uh, the plate, the, the cup, cover it okay. uh, because uh, it could be the, um, you know, the effort from us to always, you know, um, be aware about this. It could be because if you don't cover it, you know, it's not clean. And then along with that, you know, awareness of the cleanliness, you know, we need to always wash our hands. And then be aware with the cleanliness in our house, in our environment, our room, our toilet, our kitchen, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Muslim in around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our society in whole, uh, in UK, Muslim in around the world, subhanAllah. My dear brothers and sisters, only Allah is the only one, the only God, the true God that who is able to protect us from the harm and the badness of uh, this virus. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect us, can give us an ease, make it easy for all of us in this kind of challenging situation. So as long as we have Allah in our heart, as long as we get closer toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no need to be worried. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always help us as a Muslim, as a mu'min. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Share the link so that the Muslim in, in our society, they will get uh, benefit from this reminder, inshallah. And then the most important thing is this reminder is especially for me and then for all of us, inshallah. جزاكم الله خير سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته